So let's go. Liberation Minded Media. And I said I was going to actually do this last weekend. Hey, time got away from me. I was busy. It is what it is. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys on this video. It's another expose. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I know a lot of y'all been waiting for this one. And what I'm going to show you is, is the affiliation, the grape affiliation of Morris World TV. See, it's not a coincidence that he was a registered sex offender documented in 2016. It's not a coincidence. Like I said before, a lot of his day ones and biggest supporters of Morris World TV and in real life, people he really affiliates with and has known, they also have that jacket as well. And I'm going to prove it. I'm going to show you the documented receipts. I'm also going to show you a video of someone exposing one of his day ones, but I'm also going to show you them exposing themselves. So yeah, we already know about the sex offender with the Y next to it. Everyone knows about that. We know about his woman abuse, his child abuse. I'm going to remind you about how he went in and tried to cause, um, what do you call that? Disapproval for or suspicion around an organization, Sisters of the Underground, who actually rescue women from DV and sex trafficking situations amongst many other things they do as an organization. Of course, he attacked them. But let's go ahead and just start this off, man. Let's get it. So this is what I what I showed you before. This was on my video, a video that I made that I pretty much recorded some of his own video. So this brother in the, we'll even call him a brother. This person in the bottom right, Charles Phillips, who I'll show you some paperwork. He, he He's a known uh, drug trafficker slash sexual abuser, documented. Court paperwork documented. We're going to get to that in a minute. But he's also a supporter of Morris World TV and someone who Taharka Bay supports, has one of his moderators, has protected when other people have came on Morris World TV or, or asked to come on Morris World TV to expose this dude. He protected them, kicked them off, and one of them he didn't even let on. So he attacks organizations that rescue and help and aid and assist domestic violence victims and sex trafficking victims, attacks them, but supports and protects documented sex assaulters. Documented. So why would we be surprised to see that he also is a documented sex offender? Anyway, let's let's go ahead and check this video out. Fear says, sis, let me let me let me swing on around to Bro Charles. Bro Charles, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, and let's get it started. Peace, Mo. Peace, family. Peace. Um, I, I started being an activist in 2014. The pigs arrested me for walking on the highway. I'm a single dad taking care of a little girl by myself. And um, they locked me up for walking on the highway and gave me child endangerment and um, soliciting to a minor, sir. So, so listening to a minor. You said they locked them up for soliciting to a minor. Let's see what soliciting to a minor is by definition. Let's just see what that means. Let me find it. There we go. What is solicitation of a minor? The key North Carolina law regarding solicitation of a minor is North Carolina general statute section 14 to 202.3, which defines computer solicitation of a minor. The law states that a person guilty of solicitation of a minor, if they are 16 years or older, use a computer or other device to intentionally entice, coerce, 
persuade a child under age 16 into unlawful sex acts, the child is at least five years younger than the adult or the adult believes the child is five years younger than the adult. Okay. So potential penalty penalties, uh, solicitation of a minor is steep in North Carolina. This offense is a class H felony in North Carolina, which carries a maximum penalty of 39 months of imprisonment. So that's, that's exactly what he just said that he was charged for, but that's not the only time he's been charged for such acts. And it's safe to say that he is probably also working with government enforcement agencies based on the fact that he has a long rap sheet like Tarka Bay with very little jail time behind it. And he is a disruptor in the black conscious slash black power, black empowerment community. He poses like Tarka Bay as an advocate but really just does the opposite. We get to some more receipts. You can see case numbers in here. You can see indictment numbers in here. You can see Charles Phillip. You can see the picture of him, the brother you just seen. And let's look at some of these charges right here. Party type, defendant, of course. Assault and battery of a high and uh, aggravated, I guess. Original charge, assault with intent to commit criminal sexual conduct, first degree. So the case he was just talking about was 2014, but this is actually 2002. So that's at least a 10 year history of this type of behavior. This is who, out of all the people who Morris World TV, Tarka Bay attacks, only few does he really endorse, only few in the black community, organization-wise and individually, does he actually support. And this just happens to be one of them. Out of all the people who he attacks that don't have criminal records, that have receipts of being advocates for our community, like Rizza Islam, one of the latest targets. Out of all the good brothers and sisters and organizations that he attacks and tries to raise suspicion on, out of all of the white supremacist activities against us that he ignores, out of all of the enemies and adversaries that he has made himself to, this is someone who he features on his TV, sh on his uh, YouTube show and supports and gets support from. See, this is why I made that video. You have to know who's who. Because to know of niggas like Taharka Bay isn't enough. You also have to know who supports, who, who are the believers of this dude. Who considers themselves in alliance with this dude? In agreement with this dude? It's not a lot of people, but you notice the ones that are have records like this behind them. Let's, let's play it back. Let's run it back. To listen to a minor service. And um, so listening to a minor service on the highway and gave me child endangerment and um, so listening to a minor. So on this video, what he was doing is he was given these, these particular branch of Panthers, the only branch of Panthers that he agrees with and supports and will shed good light on is this particular branch. When this chick right here, she, she's a known agent in the community. He is known for getting kicked out of every other Panther organization because of sexual misconduct and or drugs. But this is the one. These are the ones to Harker Bay will support and bring on the show. And then when people came against this dude, he protected them. 
Let, let's get let's get to that. Matter of fact, this is a long video. We, I'm only gonna play about half of it, but but we are gonna deep play it because he is speak. She is speaking on Charles, and she does mention towards the end or towards the middle of this video that she was gonna go on Morris World TV. That never happened because he never let it happen. Because the first woman that went on Morris World TV talking about Charles' shenanigans got kicked off the show and got attacked by the moderators. Come in here, baby boy. You fucking little boy, come on. Come on, you fucking little boy. And I keep going through shit, and I'm not finna keep going through shit with motherfuckers who ain't worth going through it with. So bring that ass in here, Charlie, Bernard Henry Phillips. Come on in here, baby boy. You fucking little boy, come on. Come on. I need you to come in here because this is for you. You fake ass Black Panther. You using the name of this fucking organization who is supposed to promote family, unity, strength, a man for one who looks on everybody as if they're God's goddamn verse creation. You don't, the shit that you want is sickening. You using an organization that's supposed to promote unity. Unity. Everything it stands for, you're not. You're not. And I don't give a fuck how this go. I don't care who got anything to say about it. Come for me, baby. Because I'm built for this shit. I joined and wanted to be a part of fucking Black Panther because of what the fuck that name stood for. You joined and want to be a fucking part of the goddamn Black Panthers because you're using women to get at these goddamn women. I pissed the fuck off this morning because I got text messages telling me you're looking for me. You're looking for me? I'm not. And that's another uh, common thread with these types is that they often attack women in different ways. They prey on women in different ways. So the same way Tarka Bay preyed on Napa, getting a hold of some of her explicit material that was not meant for public eyes. And then he exploits her by putting them on a website that he charges people to see, which is an act of revenge porn, which is a felony which would, after conviction, put you on the sex offense registry list. So like I said, he's he's currently indulged in acts that would put him on the sex offense registry. So he attacked her, Nepal, the same fashion. That's how these predators operate. The robberies that he did, that he was convicted of, were against little old ladies, the old lady at a China, at a uh, pizza shop and another old lady somewhere else were him and five others that he ended up snitching on, by the way, robbed a lady at gunpoint, tied her up, all that ill shit. Over pennies, really. But it's a pattern. It's an algorithm. It's a pattern that you have to be able to Recognize. Well, you have no choice but to recognize it because you'll see it so through and through when it comes to individuals like Tarka Bay, like Charles Phillips, and like one of Tarka's day ones from Naptown, Adrian Joyce, who also we're going to show a little bit later that he's also a member of the grape community of Morse World TV. Not hard to find. So yeah, I got a problem this morning. Cause the goddamn organization that I'm part of, nigga, I'm sad that I even was a part of it. You took my downfall and you ran with it. When my house caught on fire, you used that shit for clout. You wasn't there to help me. You told me to stop eating. Stop listening to music. You thought you had some in-house pussy. I thought you was my friend. You turned your back on me. You got I don't know how much fucking money in my name. I don't know what was donated. I don't give a fuck what was donated. I was so listen, Taharka Bay is the biggest person to accuse others of grifting, scamming, misusing money. I mean, this is what he accuses everyone of doing. 
and he's an exposer that that that's what Morris World TV is to is to expose the frauds. The and, and, and the quote unquote frauds that he exposed. There's no like grassroots uproar about these people. There's no like community of people who are saying like, oh, um, Tariq Nasheed has ripped me off. And I feel like the museum isn't living up to the standards in which we were promised. And I feel like my money was misused. You don't see people saying that it's only him saying this, but here you have a sister out crying publicly. Cause this, this was actually a pub. This was actually a Facebook live video that Tarka Bay did indeed see and even reference a couple of times, but he's not going to expose this person, one of his supporters, Charles Phillips of raising money in this sister's name and then not giving her none. That's not a grift. That's not fraud to him, but people willingly give him money for products and services that they receive and that they're happy with. He'll go on a campaign for months, calling that a grift and a scam and fraudulent. while he protects people like Charles Phillips, who self-admittedly is, you know, has been charged with soliciting to a minor. Was going through some shit. So this morning, this shit is for you. You right, your family members looking for me? I'm in Charlotte, I'm here. I'm not hard to find. But it's as of today, I'm exposing your bitch ass. Your name is Charlie, not Charles. For those who can't find no information on him, his name is Charlie, Charlie Bernard Henry Phillips. He is a womanizer. He's a fucking cocaine head. He's a drug addict. He's also a drug seller. I don't do shit like this. But so, and this is something that in, in the community, of Panthers and other black empowerment organizations. This is like a known fact about dude. As far as being a drug dealer and being a womanizer who will even break the law and grape and sexually assault women. This is a known thing. This is why he he's got kicked out of so many different organizations. This is why there's been tribunals held on him several times in some of these organizations, which is why he had to start his own organization. So this is known stuff. So like out of all the things that Tarka Bay chooses to pull on Morris world TV to attack, this brother should have been one of them and, and many other brothers and sisters that actually support Tarka Bay could have got that spotlight. But instead, this is the type of people who he protects and who support him and who he supports. But when you coming for me, we got a problem. You're not even coming for me, but you speaking on my kids. I don't have my kids. So why the fuck are they in your mouth? My whole house just burnt the fuck down. The whole goddamn house just burnt down. I've been in my shit for six or seven years. I've been on my own for years. I ain't never stayed with nobody other than family. So for this man to take me into his fucking household and thought he was finna fuck on me and do what he wanted to do to me, I got a fucking problem. Because you using women in that organization. I came in this man as a friend. Now then I got into some shit with this man as far as this organization goes. I put boots on the ground and I stood with that goddamn flag high in the fucking sky because I stand behind what the fuck that flag stood for. But you coming on this motherfucker and you threatening. So mind you, mind you, she said that he thought that he was going to be able to fuck on her. So predator behavior. Woman's at her lowest. He invites her in. He expects sexual favors from her. And they're part of an organization where they should be on a brotherly, sisterly vibe, if nothing else. That should be the first vibe.
th- this is one of Tarka Bay's affiliates. Yeah, he himself is, is an agent. He himself is a despicable individual. Which just seems to be the type of people who gravitates towards Tarka Bay and who Tarka Bay seems to have affiliations with. So no coincidence that this dude is on the sex offense registry as well. No coincidence that he attacks organizations that protect women from people like him. In my goddamn life, nigga, your whole formation is fucked up. And and, and things like this, see things like this right here, what, what she's talking about her experience with Charles Phillips, Charlie Phillips. And things that we see on Morris World TV, which only attacks individuals and organizations that are actually assets to our community. Turns people away from the idea of black empowerment, which is exactly the point. Who else has an agenda like that outside of the FBI and other government agencies who have long attacked our people and murdered our people? for pushing for justice. So it it don't really take a mathematician to add it up. The despicable affiliation with mile long rap sheets, but very little time. And then them actually being predators in our community. And those who actually not just disrupt, But also, you know, belittles and damages the reputation of those who are actually doing work in the community while protecting the ones that are actually harming our community. Like, you don't have to be a mathematician to add it up. Like, what does that sound like? What does that add up to? What's the mathematics on that? What does it equal? Agentry. I got video calls. I got receipts. I got pictures of your house. I got pictures of you in your bed with a quarter on your ass. I didn't know what the fuck you was going through. Nigga, you so goddamn jack. I don't even think you know I got the goddamn picture. But you ain't did nothing but. Now she said something about a picture with a quarter on his ass. And somebody told me that that is something that represents some type of, uh, homosexual uh whatever so here's another common thread homosexual activity remember tarka bay sent roy bay some transsexual porn late at night he said this and in, in, in it's on it's in one of my videos and there's rumors that when he was locked up he was having sex with men talk about tarka bay so now we have charles possibly homosexual shit. I'm not saying this to, to disparage, you know, saying those who participate in that type of activity, but I'm just saying that it's a pattern. Nonetheless, it's a pattern. Criminal activity. Attacking our organizations and individuals that are about progressive, um, progressiveness in the community and power, empowering the community. Long criminal record, homosexuality, all these things, they just seem to go hand in hand. Sit here and cause havoc. You don't do nothing but sit here and cause women fucking problems. You get online and you look for women that's going through shit. Yeah, come on in here. Come the fuck on in here, everybody. Share this shit with this nigga. And I call him a nigga for a reason because he's ignorant. When I put my motherfucking boots and my goddamn shirt on, nigga, it ain't the goddamn be out there because of no fucking TVs to be on no fucking news. I did that shit from my fucking heart because I want somebody to stand the fuck up for me. But for this shit right here that's going on, nigga, I'm not hurt by any means. I don't give a fuck about you coming for my life, bitch, because I'm built for this shit. If I die, you the ignorant motherfucker to take me out of here, let's go. Let's fucking go.
But what you ain't fit to do is keep using this goddamn organization, these Black Panthers, to get these goddamn black girls. This shit is for the fucking books. You looking for me? I'm here. In the city, bitch. On the highway. I'm here. I'm here. I'm in Charlotte. I ain't hard to find. Not hard to find worth a fuck. But what you ain't gonna do is keep coming for me and mine. The only thing you can goddamn say is that bitch ain't got her kids. Nigga, I'm fucking homeless. I'm staying in a goddamn hotel. My shit burnt the fuck down. And even before then, wherever the fuck my kids is, nigga, ain't your goddamn business. But what you ain't finna do is talk about them and put them in your fucking mouth. Your formation fucked up. You got niggas out here on armed motherfucking maneuvers with a goddamn BB gun, bitch. You got a motherfucker out here with an AR in their hand that couldn't even know how to shoot that motherfucker. You got another out here with a goddamn AR that didn't even have no fucking bullets in the goddamn clip. In other words, they false flagging. You got niggas out there false flagging. And I've heard that about this cat before too. So he's out there just basically doing cosplay. I'm saying, once again, this is a coincidence that the ones that Tarka Bay attacks are certified. Laborers of our community that don't have a history of the community calling them out or accusing them of any malpractices within black empowerment activism. But those ain't the ones who Tarka Bay will support. He supports the organization, the, the newly popped up organization led by a dude who's got kicked out of every other organization because of accusations of sexual misconduct, drug dealing, which are both on his record. And this is who he protects. So when we have an actual legitimate outcry from the grassroots community saying, Hey, this person, this organization is Fugazi, they're false flagging, they're taking advantage of and preying on women. They're dealing drugs to the community. Like that would be real shit to be exposing. That would be real fraudulent activities for Morris world TV to expose. If Morris world TV itself wasn't part of the problem and part of these organizations that are doing these things to the benefit of white supremacy, who once again, he said wasn't even a problem for black people. It was really just ignorant black people. It was really just gullible black people. And I agree with that, that gullible black people are a problem because gullible black people are the ones who support your program and who will see receipts and will not acknowledge them but will believe the rhetoric that you say about people who have nothing but receipts for doing good. Just think about all the people who he attacks 99% of them. Cause some of them, you know, saying they deserve it, but 99% of them don't. And then look at the organizations and the individuals and the things that are going on. That's really plaguing our community that he protects or ignores. Everybody fucking life in jeopardy. Everybody's life was at fucking jeopardy. I'm pissed the fuck off. You goddamn right I'm mad. I'm getting phone calls in the morning. You looking for me? You looking for me? Come get me, baby. So that's that's another thing that, that's a common thread amongst these, these bitch ass niggas is that they're always threatening women threatening to pull up, threatening to, to give their information out. Same thing that Tarka Bay did to the research ninja, Napa, try to dox him, try to say that they're coming to get, he's coming to get him, make innuendos, vague little threats. Same type of behavior, which shouldn't be surprising because he has like 12 DVs on his record. You've seen the protection orders that multiple women put against him to protect themselves and their children. You've seen that information. Ain't no coincidence that he attacks people like sisters of the underground. We're going to get to that in a minute. All this stuff is not coincidental. Coincidental. 
It's not coincidental that his Aelites affiliates in day ones, like Charles and Adrian, are also sex offending sexual predators, criminals. That just can't be a coincidence. Coming from someone who uses affiliations of other people to paint them all the same. Anyone who supports uh, Tariq Nasheed is Professor James Smalls, Rizda Islam, Ben X. Anyone who supports them have to be looked at as fraudulent and suspiciously. But what about your circle? Because the people who you're attacking don't have grape on their record or accusations of it. But you do. Your affiliates in day ones do. My heart don't pump no goddamn sugar. I'm built for this shit. Nigga, I'm at my lowest point in life right now. I have lost every fucking thing. Bitch, I'm dangerous because I don't got nothing else to lose. Nothing else to lose. My house go. My six kids are staying with family members. They died. I don't got nothing else to lose. Nothing else to fucking lose. Run that shit to me and I'm going to show you what the fuck this shit is really about. The same gun you put in my motherfucking head, I'm going to take your goddamn head off your shoulders. You come fucking with me. The same goddamn gun you put in my fucking hands is going to be the one to take your goddamn life. You put, you keep fucking with me. You getting these girls off of fucking Facebook that's going through shit and you using them. You get what you want. You try to get these bitches drunk. You try to get these bitches high. You fuck on them and you put them out the next goddamn day. You thought you was finna run that shit with me. No, baby. I'll sleep in the back seat of this motherfucking car before I allow you to dictate my motherfucking life. Shout out to that sister right there. Standing on her square. So this nigga Charles is like a... He's the real Bill Cosby. Drugging. Getting drunk. Fucking on, waiting till they're at their lowest and then preying on them. This is the behavior. This is something that you'll notice about these agents. They all have despicable things in long rap sheets. That is why they are selected. Because they have no choice. They have to play ball with these agencies. This is what these agencies have been doing since day one. They'll get criminals or get people who have compromised backgrounds and flip them. See, they, they can't really flip someone who doesn't have a compromised checker background. They don't have no leverage on them. Judah and the Black Messiah, you've seen it. Dude catches a Fed case. Feds give him an ultimatum. So he decides to infiltrate the Black Panther organization in Chicago and eventually ends up setting up Fred Hampton's demise. The same playbook. They don't change it. So it, it's no coincidence that the ones causing the most havoc and living sky free doing it have mile long rap sheets with the most despicable things on them. And they run in packs and they protect each other. You wanted me to stop eating. Bitch, I'm a big girl, little but big in the inside. I eat. I'm going to eat. Not going to stop eating. Eat fruit for what? To fruit. To... You're miserable. I know where all your shit is. Nigga, I can have niggas running your shit today. Wipe all that shit out. I ain't even on that kind of shit. I try to let you live, nigga. I try to let you breathe. I don't got to do this with you. I don't even get on live for shit like this. I'm at work. At work. You see the boxes? I'm at work. So whoever in here, you tell Charlie, Bernard Henry Phillips, I'm in Charlotte, baby. I'm right here by his house. Matter of fact, you see the sign? North Tryon. I'm on North Tryon. I ain't far from you. I work right around you, nigga. I'm fucking disgusted. I'm hurt. 
and I'm sick to my fucking stomach behind your shit. Everything the Panthers stand for, you are not. You are not. So that, that's another common thread right there that they, they, these type of Negroes will get in organizations or try to affiliate themselves with organizations that are supposed to be upstanding and, 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 you know, heralded by our community, but they use them for the opposite. Same way Tarka Bay came in the game on co some comedic Morris shit. And now he's using, you know, his, his, his platform, Moorish World TV, nothing Moorish goes on on that. It's only to attack and undermine legitimate organizations and individuals with history of being laborers for our communities. But the fact that I got fucking text messages and I would wish I could put them shits in here. Can I put pictures up on here? Can I put pictures up on here? Cause nigga, I got video of your house. You're nasty. From your front door to your back door, your daughter room, your room. I got all that shit. Cause I knew it was going to be some shit with you. I sensed it. I got pictures of your house. I got pictures of your stupid ass in the bed with a quarter on your ass, bitch. Like I did that shit. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. I don't got nothing else to lose. I'm not scared of death. I'm not scared of life. I'm not scared of people. I'm God feared. And unless you got a God motherfucking complex that I don't know about, then nigga, fuck you. I want you in this motherfucking box right now. That's what the fuck I want. I want you in this box. You don't want to talk to me as a man? to a woman then come to fucking this live because that's what you run to fucking social media bullshit the hype the clout Any, my whole fucking name is up on this goddamn wall run my background I'm built for this shit I don't mind putting my hands on nothing not your mother not your grandma not you run this shit the fuck up Come your bitch ass in this box, cause nigga, I'm here. I'm on your street. I'm on your street. I'm on your fucking street. Damn. Another thing about these cats is, is they're cowards. When they get put, when they get any pushback, they're cowards. Remember, women ran up on on Tarka Bay after he gave them. He dropped the Addy on them. He dropped location on them. They pulled up. He did not come out. How many fights with dudes did he? proposition and then bitch out on all of them because they don't mind being, you know, bullies don't like pushback. Bullies like soft targets. This is why you always tell your children to fight bullies. Push back. They'll bow down. North Tryon! You stay on what? You stay where? You stay on North Tryon, nigga? I'm on your shit! When you listen, when you got bitches pulling up Stop on them, playing niggas, with me, and they bowing down, that's what they're bitch ass niggas. Period. We didn't see this nigga get this taste slapped out of his mouth, and he bitched up. We didn't see bitches pull up on this nigga, and he bitched up, and that's exactly what this nigga Charles is doing the same thing. And when I say bitch, when I'm th I'm not referring to them as bitches, like you know they're just dirty, nothing ass bitches. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? But the real bitches, these bitch ass niggas that they don't want no smoke for real. They like soft targets, like white supremacists, cowards. Scared of no nigga with what a gun and use it. Cause you gonna have to fuck it with me. You gonna have to. Everything you stand for, I'm finna come for it. I'm coming for your whole life, nigga. Fuck it. You don't give a fuck about mine. You don't give a fuck about mine, so why the fuck should I care about yours? I'm waiting, because I know your people in here watching. Speak y'all shit. Talk y'all shit. 
Talk y'all shit. So, uh, CC, I'm pretty sure you ain't here watching. Run it, come on. Back your boy the fuck up. Cause I'm with all this shit this morning. I'm on this nigga street. Scared of nothing. Or no one. Give a fuck about y'all little baby ass God complexes. Y'all got me out here acting ignorant this morning. But the difference between me and you, baby boy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about putting on orange. I don't give a fuck about putting on green. I don't give a fuck about putting on brown. I don't give a fuck about putting my feet on these goddamn streets. None of that shit. You're fake. You're a fucking imposter. Everything you stand for is to get women. You use them to gain clout. You take my motherfucking money. Ain't no telling how much fucking money you got. Yeah, back to the grift. This is the grift that Target Bay is supposed to be exposing, y'all. But he's grifted himself. Because how many times did he raise money for shit that never produced? Moore's Village. Where's that? The news van for covering the Brother Polite trial, which he still hasn't covered to this day. But he waits to, you know, saying some news come, breaks out about Polite and then he starts doing videos for the clout. But none of none this whole time he ain't been talking about Polite. He ain't been going in on him and he damn sure ain't been covering the trial. Nigga, we spent $300 in Burlington on four fucking pair of pants and a couple shirts. I don't even know where the fuck $300 went to. And I know people were donating you money. You had my shit all over social media. You didn't even ask me could you post my shit on social media. Yep, back to that grift. That fraudulent shit. The same shit Tarka Bay is on. That's why he raised that money for the lawyer for suing Tariq Nasheed, which he still hasn't got a lawyer. He said it himself. That's why he raised it the way he raised it. So there's no transparency. See, he got called out for his moral Morris world, uh, Morris village grift and his, his van grift. So this time what he decided to do is raise it through PayPal. So there's no transparency. Slick. I'll give it to you. That's slick, but it's grifting nonetheless. And you ain't produced nothing with it. And you won't, you don't even have a lawyer, but you took your family to Disneyland the day you got slapped. That's what you was out there for. With your body cam. That you still ain't even showed the footage of the body cam. Because it will go against what you're saying. I'm pissed the fuck off this morning. I'm mad. I'm mad as fuck. Because of this nigga. You ignorant motherfucker. I'm going to the sisters on the underground over your ass. I'm not playing with you. I want you demoted. I want all that shit scripted the fuck from you. Your name, that freedom fighter shit. Cross that shit the fuck out. All that shit got to go. Because it ain't nothing behind that shit good for nobody. This You ain't doing nothing with the shit. But using that shit to get at women. When they don't do what the fuck you want to do. You got them... Sodomize them. I mean, I don't know what the fuck you. I mean, you trying to break women because the world fuck you and your sorry ass family got going on. You can't take that shit out on the world. We ain't your motherfucking hurt, and if we are, grow the fuck up, suck that shit up, keep moving. But for you to eat off of somebody else's fucking pain or whatever somebody might be going through, you're a sick individual. You fucking on these girls, give them somewhere to stay. I'll sleep in my back seat. I ain't selling my soul to have a fucking place to lay my head. But for me to leave your house and to find out that you trying to drag my name, I never had nothing bad to say about. See, that's what they do. How many times have Tarka Bay had people on the show and then drag them as soon as they left because they didn't get what he wanted because what he wanted was them to throw somebody under the bus with him. They didn't do it. So he ends up dragging them. 
this is the the actions and the characters of bitch ass niggas. These are the niggas that need to be exposed. About you, nothing bad to say about you out loud. But before I left that motherfucker, I went there but a week. I took pictures. You got clothes up to your motherfucking ceiling. You raising a little girl and you on Facebook talking about daddy single issues. Your little girl don't even know how to. We ain't even gonna talk about her, cause this ain't about her. But I feel sorry for her. And anybody ever been around that little girl should feel sorry for her. She's scared of you. You been fucking that little girl or you been beating on that little girl? I'm a woman. I can sense and I see that shit. She's scared of you. She can't even be herself. That baby begged me not to go to work because she didn't want you to be there. Mm. Damn. Let's not forget. This is what he had to say from his own mouth. Oops, hold up. If I'm lying, I take any fucking lie to take the test. Any. Hold up. So let's do it like this. So let's do it right there. So he's going to touch. So listening to a minor. And um, so listening to a minor service. On the highway and gave me child endangerment and um soliciting to a minor service myself and um they locked me up for walking on the highway and gave me child endangerment and um soliciting to a minor service listen to a minor child endangerment that's out of his own mouth so when she says th things like this can't even be herself that baby begged me not to go to work because she didn't want you to be there. I can sense and I see that shit. Sorry for her. Because this ain't about her. There but a week. I took pictures. You got clothes up to your motherfucking ceiling. You raising a little girl and you on Facebook talking about daddy single issues. Your little girl don't even know how to. We ain't even going to talk about her. Because this ain't about her. But I feel sorry for her. And anybody ever been around that little girl should feel sorry for her. She's scared of you. You been fucking that little girl or you been beating on that little girl? I'm a woman. I can sense and I see that shit. She's scared of you. She can't even be herself. That baby begged me not to go to work because she didn't want you to be there. If I'm lying, I take any fucking lie to take the test. Any. You're a sick individual. And I'm going to leave this shit the fuck up on live for you to watch, the world to watch, and anybody else. I'm so pissed off, I really can't even get into what the fuck I came on live for. But other than, you're going to be demoted. And if I got to go on Moore's TV, I'm going. So, she said if she's got to go on Moore's World TV, she's going. Unfortunately, of course, to protect his comrade, Charlie... She wasn't allowed on the show. One sister did go and tried to expose Charlie for his grape activities and drugging her, but she was attacked and eventually kicked off the show in the middle of the show. I seen it. So he's protecting certain individuals. Like for, for the people that he's attacking, when you really compare them to the people he's protecting, it's the people he's protecting that really should be exposed. Let's just get into a, let's just a couple more things before we move on to uh, the next. Before it's on to the next. So this right here, this is, uh, I want to say this was, this, this is Charles. And this was sexual conduct right here. 
as you can see. Attempted sexual conduct, attempted criminal sexual conduct. As you can see. Charles Phillips. What's this one? Yeah, we got the receipts, man. Told you. Tempted sexual, tempted criminal sexual conduct, as you can see. Let's check, let's check it out. I know we go along, y'all. On the above date and approximate time, the victim stated she got on the elevator at the floor and proceeded up to the seventh floor. The victim stated that the suspect, which is known by the victim, got on the elevator at the second floor. The victim stated another black female was on the elevator and proceeded uh, to the fourth floor. When the door opened, the black female exited the elevator. The victim stated that when the door closed, she asked suspect which floor um, he was going to. And he, Phillips, stated first floor. The victim stated when she turned around to push the button, the suspect reached around and bear hugged the victim, grabbing the victim's breast. The victim stated that the victim stated, I want you. The victim stated she turned around on the suspect and started fighting him off the victim stated she got away um when and when the elevator door opened she exited she stated that charlie you know i know you why did you do that the victim stated because i want you um according to the victim that's what he said i observed dirt on the victim's right and left shoulder i met with the victim at the complex in the basement the victim signed a warrant on the suspect at approximately 5 30 in front of the judge blah blah and let's see what, what year was this in 2002 so that that has nothing to do with what he was saying in 2014 with the soliciting to a minor this is a whole separate thing so this is a pattern of sexual assault For him, for Taharka Bay, and to this other last person that we're gonna get into, Adrian Joyce, who, as you can see right here, hold on, one of his friends, Brother Taharka Bay. And he has more than one Facebook page. And I didn't load up the other one, but <clears throat> also friends with Taharka Bay. They're from the same city. I've heard uh, Taharka Bay mention this dude before. And this dude, let's go. Adrian Joyce, state of Maryland. Hold up, can you see that? There we go. Justia U.S. Law. So this is the receipts on, this is like one of his day ones. Now, somebody sent me something where they were conversing on Facebook. Uh, this dude in Tarka Bay, I can't find that. But you can see the affiliation. They're, they're on the friends list. They're from the same city. And this is his pedigree. July 5th, 1983. Adrian Alonzo Joyce Appellant was tried in the circuit court for Ann Andrew County and convicted of first degree rape to receive a 10 year sentence with five years suspended. He argues on the appeal that the trial court erred in refusing to hear the testimony of two witnesses and two defense counsels proffered would testify that they had observed the participant of multiple partner sex. So he was convicted of, of gang rape of an underage of a 14 year old convicted, not alleged convicted. Excuse me. She was 15. Wait, 15. Okay. When it happened in 16, when she testified at the trial. 
So yeah. The people in his circle just happened to have sexual assaults. Documented sexual assaults. Self-proclaimed even, in some cases, sexual assaults. And then we know Tarka Bay has that on his record being a registered sex offender at least up until 2016. Ain't no coincidence. It's like it ain't a co- Let's see what else we got. We got more on this uh, Charles Cat possession of cocaine, as you can see. Long rap sheet. This is 2005. So we have 2014 solicitation to a minor child endangerment. 2002 attempted sexual criminal, whatever. 2005 knowingly and intentionally possession a quantity of cocaine, a controlled substance. Just saying. What's, what's this one? This is possession of cocaine. Okay. And then we have this dude who's also a sex offending rapist. Graper. Documented. This ain't just like I'm just making this shit up. This is documented shit. Look. Friends. Likes. Tarka. Brother Tarka Bay. And on his other Facebook page, he's he's uh Friends with one of other Tarka Bay's other Facebook pages. This ain't coincidental, man. This shit ain't coincidental. Ain't no more coincidental than the fact that he attacks people like Sisters of the Underground. Host sex trafficking, missing persons, domestic violence workshop. So think about the things that are on this dude's record and who he attacks. People who are against those kind of things because they're against people like him. So he's going to try to undermine him. He, he spent two hours undermining this organization. I'm just going to show you some of it. Y'all see what I'm talking about? And again, th- remember, this is Newswires. Newswires is a website that helps spread news stories around the Internet. It helps spread news stories around the Internet. So he's saying that like it's suspicious. He's trying to raise suspicion for an organization that does good work trying to get their name out and trying to get their service out to help people. He, he's saying it as if it's a suspicious activity. Like how dare they try to promote their organization and something that they're hosting to help sex trafficking, missing persons, domestic violence victims. And, and, and the way that he's covering it as if as is, is as if we should be suspicious of this organization, but he protects those who are known documented sexual assaulters who have been called out by the grassroots, not just like, you know what I'm saying? The fact that we got the paperwork, that's one thing because organizations he attacks, there is no outcry from the community demanding justice for these or from these organizations or saying that they're doing misconduct or, 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 um, grifting or scamming. There's, there's, there's nothing coming out of the community saying these things about the people who he attacks, but the ones that there are, he protects the ones that aren't like sisters of the underground. He attacks. You understand? So if I wanted to spread a news story, whether it's true, false, right, wrong, or indifferent, I can go to news wires. I can send them a copy and they'll post it and it'll float around the internet. And some people would think it's legitimate, but people like me would say, no, you got to come a little bit better than that. But with that being said, see now, here we go. Let's throw some dirt. Let's undermine them. Let's cause a little bit of uh suspicion. Let's imply that they're fraudulent. He, no, no reason. Nobody contacted him and said that. But the reason why he did that is because this organization also exposed his buddy Charles or Charlie. That's why he did this video to protect Charlie because they got, he got called out from this organization. Then the woman that he brought on 
to expose Charles, he ends up kicking off after his moderators attacked him. And then he didn't allow the one of that video that you just saw to come on, the, to come on the program to tell her experience with Charles Phillips. Cause he wants to protect dude. Victim services cash app underground sisters, PayPal, Underground, underground sisters. Engage communities, support victims, build trust. That's what the flyer says, right? And what they deal with is sex, tra sex trafficking, missing persons, sexual assaults, domestic violence, hate crimes, child abuse, elder abuse, victims of gang violence, excuse me, victims of gang violence, and stalking. Now, you would think that this is a social services organization right here. Raising suspicion. But I ask you, where is, one of the things that's a giveaway too with this stuff too, where is the headquarters? You know how you go to a social services organization or you go to NAACP or you go to any of these organizations, you can find out where the headquarters. Where is the headquarters for all this victim advocacy at? Where is it? Raising suspicion. If that, if 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 they, she doesn't know where the headquarters is at, all of a sudden it can't it can't be legit. Can't be that he just doesn't know. But it has to be that you know there's has to be a suspicion raised. Tracking sex trafficking, missing person. This is the this is a big caseload. I bet you they got. They, I, I will guarantee you they have a, a file cabinets around the corner. They got to. This is a this is a huge caseload. You know what I say? Listen, sex trafficking. Listen, remember what I just said? They have a not they a just just so happens that this organization, while he was doing this video, was in the middle of a rescue in his neighborhood that went successfully. So I'm just showing y'all the receipts, the affiliation of Morris World TV and his affiliates and supporters in day ones. It's not a coincidence. It's all documented. It's all legit receipts and all. So I don't want to make this too long. So we're going to go ahead and end it right there. It's despicable, y'all. Expose these niggas. Call them out. I'm out.